Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. Sorry I didn't upload anything for about a week. I caught a really nasty cold and pretty much just now recovering, so I'll do my best to get through this video. Sorry if I cough or sneeze a few times. Alright, with that being said, since the updates are going to be a little bit staggered and I haven't had as much to play, I'm going to go ahead and get started on showing you guys my level 99 RF Inquisitor and how I'm kind of leveling to 100. Um, so uh, I'll kind of talk about the Atlas a little bit here really fast. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and jump in the map, then we'll talk about the Atlas, um, and then we'll talk about a few other things like I, I want to make a video covering tattoos. I know I've kind of sprinkled on the tattoos a little bit here and there, and we'll do that again, and then we'll make a more fleshed out video. And then, of course, we got SSF coming, I want to say next week, and I might even be starting off with Chieftain, more so just to play up more than anything. All right, so I'm currently running a Wandering Path Atlas um, going over Tropical Island and Arachnid Tomb. So you can see here that Arachnid Tomb is located here and Tropical Island is located here. And I have 100% chance of dropping an adjacent map. And I'm currently using Shadow Shaping over here to favorite the maps around it to prevent them from dropping. So basically I'm ping-ponging between these two. Uh, primary reason, Tropical Island has the new div card for Divines, so let's look here. Do I have a full stack of them yet? Not yet. I think I almost have a full stack. Oh, here we go, actually. Yeah, one off a full stack. And uh, Arachnid Tomb is just not too bad of a layout, so I'm running four Rusted. The Rusted does not really matter, uh, since we are mainly just using uh, Rusted for density via this node right here. Growing Hordes. Um, and let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm also using 7th Gate to unlock Beyond. Um, and I'm running Exarch Altars mainly so I don't have to trade as much. So I can self-sustain my own chisels. Okay. So the Deli Orb is completely optional. The Deli Orb will, of course, uh, kind of like generate you more wealth. But it, they are, I think, like 8 or 9 Chaos per. So if you don't want to pay for the Deli Orb method, you can just put points into... Delirium chance here, and you'll have like, I don't know, 40% Delhi chance, so it's not too bad. Now, the biggest thing to know about this Atlas here is usually if you follow my Atlas guides or kind of look at the content I post, a lot of the time I do grand design atlases. This one is the opposite, so this is a Wandering Path Atlas. Now, what Wandering Path does is it basically makes your maps way harder, but gives you way more loot. Grand Design is the opposite, where it makes mobs easier and gives you more density. The main difference between Wandering Path and Grand Design, though, is number one, the league mechanics that they synergize, and number two, Wandering Path is typically stronger in most scenarios if your character can handle the content, but I'll give you an example. So there's a map mod that says, like, monsters avoid 70% of elemental ailments. With a proper Wandering Path Atlas, that's not 70%. That's now like monsters are now unable to be affected by ailments, right? Um, so like if I pop open the, the maps here, the map mods, it's like 152% extra fire, 36% extra poison. Um, so this can be very frustrating for players who are actively trying to level up. Thankfully with the RF Juggernaut and the RF Inquisitor, we are naturally a very tanky archetype. And <clears throat> with uh, the ability of getting explodes, very easily now with the Namahu tattoos. You can even clear these much faster. I'm kind of just going at a slow rate because uh, hashtag, you know, recovering streamer. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, so the purpose of this Atlas, like I said, was to self-sustain my own maps. So that's between Arachnid Tomb and uh, Tropical Island, which we have done, right? Um, so 100%, we should get like one of the maps cleaning or clearing up this area. I wanted to try out the new Ritual with the new, like, Giga Tribute thing. I, it's been okay so far. Nothing really too crazy. I've gotten, like, a raw Divine, and that's really about it. I, what I would say Ritual does, though, is it spawns a lot of Gumball currency, which is not necessarily bad. Like, you get, I don't know, like, a bunch of, like, raw Chaos, but definitely not anywhere close to the levels of Expedition or anything like that. So I'm not too sure how I feel about Ritual yet. Definitely not bad for fractured items, though. I'm not sure if Ritual still has the, like, well-rolled stuff. Well, there's the Arachnid Tomb. But definitely getting a lot of fractured from Ritual itself.
Although this ritual has been like really shit. Usually I have quite a bit more tribute than what we have now. Okay, we're not gonna look at that right now. So that titanium. Okay, fossilized. I'll take that one. Whenever you see these fractured items, uh, I don't know if there's still any value now in, in softcore trade, but uh, first week of the league usually suppression items. So fractured suppression sells for a bunch. Oh, look, there's my stack. So I would say with my strategy, I'm not getting a div card every run. I'd say I'm getting a div card maybe every three runs. So nothing crazy impressive, but like I said, my goals are always kind of like minimal trading and a, like self to an extent self-sustainable. I mean, the only thing that's not self-sustainable here is the deli orbs. But again, I can just run natural deli and it's okay. Um, the five C on beyond, I actually do self-sustain coming from like ritual. There we go. The ritual and exarch shrines typically pay out the five C. Um, so that's not too big of a deal. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is like one of the lowest tribute ones I've actually ever had. Yeah, this has virtually nothing in it. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure my gear is probably identical to the gear I had in the previous video, so I'm just gonna hover over it because I haven't really crafted anything. Okay, and then let's just talk about the Atlas a little bit. So I'm not fully completed on my Atlas. I still have just a few more points to grab, um, but let's talk about it. So first off, um, if I were to type additional connected map, does that work over here? Additional connected map. Okay, so there's a 100% chance for additional connected map, plus chance to dupe because sometimes this can get screwed up by Arc Nemesis conversion, but for the most part, you're fine. So that's what most of these little baby nodes are for. Um, I am like full ritual, like I said on the Atlas. So I pretty much get ritual every single map. Uh, I have what, let's see, where's my ritual spawn chance? 70% chance for ritual. I have no clue what that ends up being after the base value, but it's gotta be like 90% plus. Uh, we are running all of the gates here so that we can use the uh, seventh gate keystone, which allows us to get beyond. Right, so beyond is right here for 5C. Now that beyond is currently, uh, you can see here the currency I have made from that. Most notably, these tainted fusings that have dropped in half price since I have been sick. But not really, they're 40C each, they used to be 60. Uh, and I've gotten quite a few of them, like six maybe. Yeah, six in total, I actually have to go drop these prices. Yep, so the purpose of this also is I want to try out Endless Tide. Um, this is primarily why I wanted Delirium on there, because the closer you have mobs together, um, the more likely you are to spawn beyond. Um, I wanted to throw in more League mechanics, but I wasn't really sure which. Like, Abyss would technically work kind of well on here, but Abyss without with the big notables is kind of sad. So, I'm not sure exactly what I want. I'm not a super big fan of Ritual, um, but I, I don't, I'm just not too sure what else I would want to pair with this side of the tree. Again, coming into here is like super important for getting the big rarity and quantity. This is all about quantity scaling uh, with a wandering path atlas. I mean, each one of these nodes is 2%. Um, I path in here through Harby just because, uh, I mean, Harby is like, essentially the only thing Harby is really doing is giving some beyond density. But I guess realistically for softcore trade, if I wanted more money, I would go harvest, I think, now that I see this atlas. Yeah, I'd probably drop Ritual and just put a few points into Harvest since you're already over here. I think the main reason I wasn't doing Harvest, though, is because I was kind of just in, like, Zoom Zoom mindset. And Harvest is more like, hey, stop and, you know, loot some stuff. But I might change that. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's been pretty fun. It's really rippy, like I said, though, compared to Grand Design. But one of the things I really enjoy about Shadow Shaping and Wandering Path is that you get to pick your own maps, which honestly like such a sick combo. I, I really enjoy that. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I'll be blasting this character to 
level 100 over the next couple of days. I may or may not make a second character. I planned on it, but getting sick kind of demotivated me. So we might just be league starting on Monday with RF Chieftain. I'll give you guys some more info on that later. Anyway, that's pretty much about it for now. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Ooh, that was hard to say. Um, if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.